Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well. Now, here we'll see our sick Suella Braverman. May sound a little bit over top, but I just do think she's just a sick individual. Now, I could have shown you the bit where SMP MP Stuart MacDonald was holding our demented home secretary's feet to the fire, but these two individuals really caught my attention because they basically made a mockery of not only our Suella Breverman's rhetoric, but also this extreme Brexit Tory government's rhetoric when it comes to, you know, people seeking asylum. And the first one is SNP MP Joanna Cherry and Stephen Farrer, MP for Alliance. Joanna Cherry. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Can I just gently remind the Home Secretary that it is not illegal to seek asylum. Yeah. Yeah. What, is, what is illegal is to detain people without a proper basis in law. Yeah, yeah. So can she confirm that she has ignored legal advice that keeping these asylum seekers at Manston for more than 24 hours could be illegal detention? And can she also tell us whether she's been advised that what's happening at Manston may amount to unlawful deprivation of liberty in terms of Article 5 of the ECHR, and also inhuman and degrading treatment in terms of Article 3 ECHR. Now, despite the Home Secretary's best efforts, we're still bound to, uh, a, to uh, comply with the Convention by virtue of our domestic law. So what is she going to do about all of this? And even if she doesn't care about the human rights of the people detained at Manston, does she understand that her failure to obey the law here may end up costing the taxpayers vast amounts of money in terms of court fees and damages. Yeah, yeah. Well, I confirm that I have not and ever ignored legal advice. Um, the Law Officers' Convention, which I still take very seriously, means I won't comment on the contents of legal advice that I may uh, have seen. But what I will say is this. I am not prepared to release migrants prematurely into the local community in Kent to no fixed abode. That's an unacceptable option to me. Harry. Chair, Mr Deputy Speaker, at the recent Conservative Party conference, the Home Secretary talked that it was, in, uh, that was her dream, indeed her obsession, to see uh, pictures of planes taking off for Rwanda on the front page of the Telegraph. Had to be the Telegraph, of course. Yeah. Does she appreciate how offensive indeed disturbing and anti-humanitarian that statement is, yeah, particularly yeah. whenever you bear in mind the true perspective that there are over 80 million refugees and internally displaced people in the world. The UK takes proportionally less uh, uh, refugees than many other European countries, and the Home Office's own yep. figures that from this year say that over 70 per cent of asylum claims are successful, which belies all this propaganda that these are economic yeah, migrants. Yeah, yeah. Secretary. I'll tell the Honourable Gentleman what I find offensive and disturbing, and it's this. It's the sight of thousands of people coming to these shores illegally, without a valid asylum claim, taking advantage of our generosity, abusing our laws, being accommodated free of charge. It's unfair, it's unacceptable, and it's not right. Now, Joanna Cherry spot on, didn't you, when she gently reminded our leaky Sue that it's not illegal to seek asylum. And I just smiled when she said it because at that time I was rather getting irked at the fact that our Home Secretary was calling them economic migrants and illegal and playing the system and a lot of the rabid loons in this extreme Brexit Tory party were repeating this nonsense as well. So let's be honest, both herself and this party just talking out of their arse, aren't they? And Stephen Farry just blew her and her party's drivel out of the water when when they says that we're being invaded, when clearly we're not our Now, I don't mind having a sensible conversation about this subject, but I just think we need to get rid of the Fruit Loops and the rhetoric, because it just seems to me to be a more sensible approach here is to have a process insight in Calais and to stop this ridiculous nonsense and also treat these people as vulnerable human beings. Let them have safe route and be processed at Calais, because I get the feeling France would allow it. They won't have a problem with it. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments below, and until the next time, I shall bid you farewell and take care.